welcome back. Hey, it's Friday, the... it's Friday the 2nd of April. I'm starting the vlog today, because I am. Um, I filmed a clip of something the other day for a vlog, but I don't know what vlog it's going in. So there may be a clip here, or it may be in the previous vlog. <laughs> so yeah, it's Friday. I've had the day off work today because... Um, it's bank holiday, it's Good Friday, which is really nice. So I've had a really good week at work. We've had lush weather, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday was like, okay, but Tuesday and Wednesday was just so, so lovely. Um, and it was nice to have started my job like full time then, uh, cause I had actually two quite long days. So yeah, it was really nice. I got to do some really fun stuff, but yeah, I'm just ready for this nice Easter weekend. I'm just, I just, I just want to chill. I'm just so ready. Uh, I do have something that I did want to talk about and I wasn't sure whether I would talk about it. Um, but I've always said I would be open with you guys. Some of you guys will know that I actually, I kind of worked with Zaffel on a video. Um, they didn't, they basically gifted me some items which I was so excited for because I've always wanted to try Zaffle. I love Shein, so and I always thought they were like sister brands, like they were kind of the same. Um, they are run differently and I have had a few issues in trying to return things, which I, I didn't want to have to mention, but it's been going on for such a long time I kind of need to mention it because I would then be completely lying to you guys. I did my honest opinion in the video about the clothing. I've actually got some of it which I really like and I do wear. Um, but there were some bits that I said, oh, I'm probably going to send this back. So I have um, tried sending this stuff back. And basically, it's a really difficult process. You have to talk through kind of like an online chat, but it's not live. So it's you send a message and then you wait for a reply. And you don't get, I don't think you can get a full refund. But basically, I was like, whatever, the clothes are quite cheap, that's fine. Let me just get the thing, because I don't want to mess it up. So you could either get, um, you could either keep the items and get a refund of 30% of the product. Um, like, as your store credit. Or you can return the items for a full refund. You have to pay for postage. I think they then refund you some of... The postage. I was like, okay, whatever, I'll pay for postage, like that's fine, I just want a full refund because I'm not going to wear them because they didn't fit or that kind of thing. So then you had to send over each different thing, you had to do it individually, but I'm kind of tried to block it all together because I thought that's such a hassle. So I did that, I was like, okay, cool, yep, they then sent all of the details. I was like, okay, cool, they sent me all of the stuff and I went to do it, it cost me nearly, f was it? It was either like £13 something or £15 something to send it and I sent it through Parcel Hero and I think it was DPD tracking. So it was quite expensive to send. Yeah, so it sent off. This was, I sent it off the 27th of February. So the 27th of February, I sent it off and I sent them all of the details. But then with the company that I sent it with, they kept messaging me saying, um, I don't know, there was some issue. We can't deliver it or we're having some trouble delivering it. Please can we have a phone number for the place we're sending it to or just check the address. So I went through and turns out, so I was sending it to Zaffle because I thought I was returning it to Zaffle, but no, it's a completely different name. So I corrected them and said, okay, it's actually this name that you're sending it to. It's like, whatever, cool. Thought it was all okay. Um, and I got a refund. I got money, the refund of the amount come through to my bank account. So I just presumed it was done. Um, and then I got a message from the parcel company saying, we still can't deliver this. Um, we've had a delay, please can we have a phone number and email? So I messaged again saying, like, please can I have your phone number and email? And they said they can just deliver the parcel. And I've tried to explain like, they're having trouble delivering it. Please can they have someone that they can contact? Like it's in a different country and the parcel company are basically saying, if we don't get a response, we're gonna send it back to you and you will have to pay for all of the charges, which is obviously gonna be a lot probably and I had to pay quite a hefty amount to send it anyway um and basically I just I said like in my latest message I just said why they need the phone number and then I said I happened to mention that I'd worked with them on a social media um like campaign kind of thing and I said that 
I will share this because it's wrong for me to not share. And as soon as I said that, they were like, okay, we've just escalated your case um, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. <laughs> and I don't know whether they've escalated it because I said that I've worked with them on a social media campaign or whether it has just got to that stage where they thought, okay, like we need to get someone involved. It kind of, it's been a very, very frustrating situation and I'll keep you guys updated, but I just thought I should mention it has been the most difficult process of returning ever. Um, I just presumed it would be like Shein in that you just parcel it up and you pop it to the post office and off it goes. But uh, -uh it's been so, so difficult. So yeah, I thought I would should let you guys know because obviously I've always wanted to be open and it's like a brand that I've worked with and it's just been really difficult and frustrating. I've looked at reviews online, some people have found it a really easy process, but for me, I found it a very difficult and stressful process because I don't know if they don't deliver it, how much the parcel company is gonna charge me because it's had to go through customs and stuff and it's during coronavirus, like, it's not exactly been the best situation. I just, you know? And I've got all of these documents that I don't know what they are, but because it's gone across borders, and I've posted it, I've obviously had to like, Oh, it's been very, very stressful and I just hope it can get sorted. I don't want to like out them as being a rubbish company, but it isn't a, a good way of doing returns and it has really stressed me out. So I thought I would throw that in here. Didn't really want to put this in the start of the video, but um, yeah, it's just been a very frustrating situation. Hopefully it'll be sorted. Okay, I'm really sorry about the quality of this, but I'm filming on my phone, on my bed, at a really funny angle. But I thought I should just kind of give an update on this before any of you click off. So they eventually sent a phone number. And so I sent that off to the company and said, look, they've sent me my phone number. And then I replied again saying, then they replied, messaged me saying, oh, sorry, that's the wrong phone number. This is the phone number you need. So I then had to message the company again and say, sorry, but they gave me the wrong phone number. Here is the actual phone number. And then I got a message a couple of days later from the shipping company saying, um, hi, I'm blah, 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 who's taken over this case. Unfortunately, the phone number wasn't given to us in time and your parcel is being returned to you. And we will let you know the fee of the return stuff once it has come through. Um, I haven't been told to pay anything for the return fee yet fees yet. Um, but I'm sure I will be so if I find out before I upload this then I'll let you know but I basically just messaged the company basically messaged Apple saying like this is really awful um, so I won't be ordering from Zaffle again which is unfortunate because they were nice to work with um, and the clothes that I got I liked but I've always said I would be 100% truthful with you guys and I know I uploaded this video um, working with Zaffle and it was a testing Zaffle, I guess, so I hadn't ordered from them before and I said I'd give my honest opinion. Here I am giving more of an honest opinion. Um, I just don't think it'd be right and if it saves you guys from all of that hassle, I think it's worth it because I would never do that again. And I'm someone who likes to buy things knowing I can return them and so, yeah, it's not for me, unfortunately and was a bit of a annoying and stressful situation. But yeah, they basically sent a another message back saying, you can send it again if you want to. And I just, no, <laughs> no thank you. But on a very positive, exciting note, um, a new Grey's Anatomy came out today or yesterday in the US. Oh my God, I just, I just, my heart could explode with happiness. I don't want to give any spoilers, but it was season 17, episode 10. Oh my God. Like I knew something good was happening because of the trailer I'd seen from the week before, but they just threw in that extra surprise and I just couldn't contain my happiness. So that was a really great start to my day. I also had a really lovely morning. I met up with one of my friends, Lucy. We went for a little walk. We got a Costa and we just had like a little walk around here, which was so nice to catch up and see each other. It's so, I just, I still find it so strange how different like friendships are from when like I was at school. Me and Lucy weren't like that close at school, but since we've left, we've just become so much more close. And it's so nice that, I don't know, you just wouldn't think that after being in like a global pandemic and stuff. Anyway, that was really exciting. Um, 
I don't think I have much else. To oh, I got some new bras from Boo Avenue, which is really exciting. I basically just really needed some new ones. I might show you them. Yeah, we'll show you. And I also just got some like basic underwear. Basically the ones I had, oh, I just don't like. They just go funny over time. So this is one of them that I got. It's the Tatiana style. Really super cute, just like a basic white one. Okay, <laughs> me leaving the drawer open is gonna bother some people, but I don't care. Um, I then got this one, which I can't remember what it's called, but it's just like a, a lounge bra, like it's wireless. It's very like smooth and soft and it feels really nice. They had this in um, white, black, and like a dark, like a brownie tan, and then this like pinky kind of color. Yeah, this is really soft and you can also change the straps over so it's like racer back. And I got these two, which are just gorgeous. This is very similar to the one that I got to go with my prom dress actually. Um, but it's gorgeous, it's like navy lace, like how stunning. Split strap. And then I also got the exact same, but in gray. Some people find this weird showing it on camera, but I really could not care less. It's literally just like a normal thing. And then I literally just got three black thongs, three nude thongs, three like black normal underwear and three nude normal underwear so i just i needed to get some just more basic so that is so good i've ordered a coloring book to come soon which i will show you guys when it arrives but like that's kind of irrelevant for now i've made myself a cup of tea and yeah i'm just chilling my video goes up in half an hour so that's gonna be nice i thought i'd pop in and say hey i'm so sorry that the vlog did have to start with that kind of downer but it needed to be said so yeah i wanted to put it on my instagram stories but then i felt like that was really really like boom like in your face slating i don't want to slate the company because i don't feel the need to slate the company i just i'm slating their returns and i feel like if i put it on instagram it would be very like in your face and i don't know as if i'm doing it for attention for them to tr to try and get it sorted but Oh, I don't even know. Anyway, so I didn't vlog much more. Actually, I didn't vlog anything else, but I did some of my colouring. This is the page I decided on. Just something that I didn't really have to focus on and could kind of go over the lines. Um, yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> I've been watching loads of, um, oh, what did I watch? I can't remember what it's called, but some um, Netflix documentaries. That kind of thing, which have been really interesting, but... Yeah, after I started colouring, my mum finished with her clients for the day, so we watched Grey's, Jane, and then we've just watched two episodes of The Doghouse, which I have seen, like, loads of clips on Facebook, but, yeah, we've started, like, watching the actual thing, so we started that today. Um, but that is it. Tomorrow, as I said, I want to film some videos. I'm really, really tired. I haven't been sleeping great, um, over the last few days. Well, I've slept through, but I've just woken up and I've just not felt like I've slept. I had a dream last night I got the COVID vaccine. Woke up and thought I actually might have had it, but I hadn't. So, <laughs> that was that. Hey everyone, how's your morning going? Or your day? Um, I have set a notification to rem for this play suit for when it comes back in stock. And it comes back in stock every... 12 hours let's say and every time i press the notification thing it's out of stock again it's so annoying and i'm just waiting to place an asos order in until that comes in stock but i don't know if i then add it to my basket if i manage to get it when it's in stock if then i'm going to be able to add everything else to my basket so oh i don't know what to do <laughs> anyway i'm home alone right now my whole family is out my mum and my sister have gone to B&M, has gone for a run. I've told my mum and my sister not to be in B&M for ages because basically it's my sister's birthday a week tomorrow and the thing that she's requested to do is go to B&M and, um, and I'm, c I'm coming for that one. And so I obviously want to just like take my time, look around, whereas if she's already seen everything, I think they're just going for shampoo and conditioner. Oh, I keep waking up early. Not super early, but like six o'clock. I hate when um, delivery companies ask you to review it. I'm like, I didn't even answer the door. It was my mum, like, how do I know? 
I want to post a TikTok today. I want to film a TikTok, but I don't know what TikTok to film. I'm going to do an outfit one, I think. So I'm going to go through the sounds that I've saved. Yeah, I need to film a YouTube video, but again, I'm a bit stuck. I said this last week, I'm just so stuck for ideas at the moment. Sorry about this angle. This is just really comfortable. I'm really stuck for ideas. Um, yeah, and also I want to research what's opening up come April 12th. I know that you can then eat outside, but I'm just seeing like, Obviously I look after a two and a half year old boy for um, my job. So I want to take him places, but I just need to see what places will be open. We've been to like, we went to a country park the other day, which was really nice. I look really funny from this angle. This bit of hair is like, boop, boop. Also, my mum always goes out at really inconvenient times when she's making bread. And then the rest of the family is left to deal with it. Today, I have to make sure I get it in the oven and get it all sorted. And I'm like, this is too much pressure. Oh my God, that's stunning wedding dress. Oh my God, that's so weird. So it's the 3rd of April today. And my Snapchat memory from last year came up and it was me shopping for the first time in like the pandemic. And it was all like a one way system and it was really slow. Like we, because there were people in front and it was one way, we had to just wait for them to pick up the stuff that they wanted and it was really really awkward we had to go through all of like the random stuff first and i was like we literally don't need any of this i don't know if i said but i was crying at the Grey's anatomy episode yesterday anyway 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 i'm so excited for the next episode that we'll be watching with my mum oh hey feet um it's the episode basically the er has been closed on Grey's anatomy and it's the one where they sneak a patient in and I'm so excited. Well, I'm not that excited, but like I am. <laughs> okay, I know the lighting in here is terrible, but my coloring book just arrived and I wanted to show you because it's so exciting. Um, and it's by Millie Bicknell. I don't know how you say it, but basically on the back just says, a unique coloring book filled with beautiful illustrations of modern day reminders from important social issues to environmental messages and of course, the vital topic of self-care. Its aim is to help enhance calm and give your mind a little rest amongst all of the things. Its aim is to help enhance calm and give your mind a little rest amongst all of the chaos that comes with 21st century life. Part of the proceeds from every sale will go to varying charities, all of which do wonderful work to help causes such as the planet and environment, women's rights, LGBTQ+, Black Lives Matter, the refugee crisis, men's mental health, human trafficking victims, children in poverty, and lastly, a propor and lastly, a portion will be going towards supporting the UK's wonderful NHS. So yeah, basically when you buy off of Etsy, you can select one of those charities. Um, so I think that's just so amazing. Hopefully you've got, I don't, I don't wanna show you it all, but like I kind of wanna show you it all. You got this. How stunning are these drawings? And this one here has just loads of words like fem feminism, domestic violence, um, like loads of different things. I think it's so great. Angry women will change the world. Don't let other people decide who you are. Oh, this one. Stop shaming each other. All one of a kind. Yeah, that I just can't wait to dig into and just colour. So yeah, and I'm so excited that it's not all just trees like my other one. In the hopes you're on the other side. I've had such an unproductive day, but it's been very relaxing. So I think I showed you that my colouring book came. Um, I've just finished doing the front like page. I just did this. Um, it's nothing special, but it was just so relaxing. I've been watching Super Nanny, which maybe isn't relaxing. And I also watched um, Three Identical Strangers on Netflix, which I've been meaning to watch. But yeah, this was really fun to fill in. I'm going to go through it in order because that's just... What makes me happy? So the next one that I've got is you got this. Yeah, this one's got quite a few similar things to that first page. Um, but I guess the first page isn't really one that you are meant to colour in because you've got that. It's that's it's just like the okay, so this is what it is. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that one next, but I don't know when I will do that. I'm gonna do it gradually. Pretty really funny. So oh hang on. I know I look a bit bold here. Let me take my head on. So, um, yeah, my, we were talking this morning and my mum was like, oh, you should put a TV in your office so that you can watch football and stuff in there when we want to watch Grey's. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. And then he came in like literally five minutes ago saying, oh, I'm just off to buy a wall bracket. And I was like, what? 
he was like, I'm going to buy a bracket to go on the wall for a TV in my office. And I was like, but you don't have a TV. And he was like, no, I'll, I'll, I'll get one. And I was like, so you're buying the bracket before the TV? And he was like, yeah, I just saw it and it's £5 on Facebook Marketplace. And I was like, okay, see you later. It just made me laugh. Like, our family is so strange. So me and my mum are going to come in my room and watch Grey's while my dad gets the TV. Um, because he can't watch it on his iPad. So yeah, I as I said, I've had a very unproductive day, but... It's been a nice day and yeah, I enjoyed doing my colouring. It was a very fun time. I also posted a TikTok. Um, it was like the wear this on Monday and it's done really well so far. It's got um, 534 views and 64 likes and I uploaded it an hour ago. Something I'm gonna do pr probably this weekend because so it's my sister's birthday on next Sunday, so a week after Easter. And I thought I would be back at the ice cream parlor, but they're actually closing again. Um, because I guess it's just because people can't eat in, people don't want to go at the moment. Um, so I need to wrap up my sister's present at some point. I've got her some stuff off of Depop, which she won't mind that it's from Depop. She buys pretty much everything from Depop and Vinted and the stuff that she wanted um, for the budget that we have. I couldn't have got it brand new. So yeah, but I'm really pleased with what I got. In fact, I will show you what I've got her. Um, so my sister, as you may know, I'm going off to drama school. Um, my sister is doing a dance like BTEC two year course. So I got her some bits that can work for that. So I got this um, champion jumper. Um, it is worn, but like it's still in good condition. But it's this kind of colour and I thought she'd really like that. And then I also got her some bow and tee sports leggings, which I need to repackage up so they look nice. But I actually have the same ones, but in a different size. She said she wanted to get some nice sports leggings in like black or grey. So that is what I got her. I need to wrap that up over the next week or so but that's just kind of hiding Whoa, I can't breathe.